So there's, if, if someone is a financial advisor, right? And they're sharing with you stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and things like that. They typically share a number of, hey, four to six, six to eight percent average rate of return. Could you potentially earn 50% in one year? Sure, but that's not guaranteed and not going to sell you on that. They're selling you on average rate of return. They talked about Warren Buffett, one of the best investors in the world. You invest in his fund, the most you probably would, would earn in a year would be like 12%. So there are some initial like red flags when you get involved in certain types of investments, where if there's a claim, hey, I can help you, you know, earn a rate of return of 100%, 50%, 1000%, 500% returns. Is it possible? Yes, I'm totally sure it is. What is the likelihood of that happening? How easy or simple or efficient? Like, is that because because if if that were true, I think everybody would stop funding their 401ks and put it into this and earn that 100% rate of return, right? Like if that was so true, I think everybody would dump their 401ks and start investing in this Novatech thing. So what I've typically seen, and this is just proof with pocket watching and working with Spanish community and black community, that is primarily like my biggest audience, right? I got good amount of Spanish clients. I got a good amount of black clients, right? Pretty dominant. I'd say it's like almost 50 50 and then i got the middle which is like i got white i got asian everything like i got everything in between all the different cultures i've probably worked with almost almost every culture at this point right but primarily i got black and hispanics like my biggest demographic we are constantly getting scammed guys it's weird and it's annoying it's frustrating it pisses me off i don't know if it pisses you off it sure hell's piss me off i can't stand it i can't stand seeing people that are already in a bad financial position they're sending their last five hundred dollars thousand five thousand ten thousand to some guru some investment opportunity some mlm network marketing company and they're getting bucked they're getting screwed and it may not have been a scam that's the thing too may not have been a scam what they were doing but the way they went about it as if they could just throw this money in a microwave and it's going to make dollars so fast. I'm trying to figure out how to have certain conversations with people where it's like, hey guys, is it possible to get rich fast? Yes, totally is. But if you're willing to do the work that no one's willing to do, if you're willing to improve your mindset, build slowly and efficiently and study to show thyself approved, not only will you get rich fast, but you'll get rich for sure. And here's the other thing. Let's say you did invest in that thing. You make a ton of money right? Make all this money. What's the likelihood of you being a good steward over that windfall of cash? If you've never been around that kind of money before, what's the likelihood of you actually being a very good steward over that money? How many situations have we seen of NBA players, NFL players, baseball players, you name it, professional athletes and people that win the lottery? They make a ton of money and they go bankrupt when they retire from that professional sport. Average, over 50 plus percent, go bankrupt within the first five years. The average lottery winner goes bankrupt within a few years. Get it, gets $100 million, $50 million in one shot. Changes your life for the good or for the bad. What's the likelihood you will actually be a good steward of that money? So if you're willing to do the work that no one's willing to do, if you're willing to think, which is the hardest work that most people never do, is think and run the numbers. Calculate the cost. How is it possible that this particular investment can produce that dramatic rate of return and will pay the service providers, the, the customers, the company itself? Like you got the, the money has to get spread somehow. So if you're getting a hundred percent rate of return, what are they getting? They're paying you out a hundred percent or five percent monthly. What do you think they're getting? We need to process the math on both sides. Like, wait a minute, is this like how can this possibly be? Right? We need to process that. I think it's important. So I'm spending a lot of time on this because I, I I see it coming. I see it coming. It's it's rough. Like people are are in crisis right now. I got people in my community right now, but I think it's gonna get rough next year. They keep increasing rates the way they're doing, and these real estate prices the way they're like staying up. Yet there's not enough buyers in the market. It's getting weird.